What's up guys, hopefully all of you are doing well. I'm okay, I'm out of town right now, but I did want to show you one of the lunches I made on a lazy rainy day last week. It's my Mexican roasted cauliflower and black bean taco salad. And as an added bonus, I'm gonna show you how to make some really quick and easy oven fried tacos out of the same basic ingredients. Let's get into it. So I have my fresh cauliflower here all cut up and ready to go. They're all about the same size. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little chili powder over, some Mexican oregano. I also have a little house seasoning, my GDS. And I'm gonna add about half a can of Mexican tomato sauce, which you can find in your ethnic food aisle or your Latin food aisles in the grocery store. Then I have two or three tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil, your choice. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and some garlic powder. This recipe is similar to the sriracha roasted cauliflower we did a couple of weeks ago. I'm just giving you another option to use some Mexican tomato sauce just in case you want something a little milder. So I have my preheated pan that I put in the oven at 450 degrees. We're gonna pour that cauliflower right over my little ugly pan, put it in the oven. So for the black beans, we're gonna add the remaining Mexican tomato sauce, diced onions, some diced green chilies, Mexican oregano, we have some smoked paprika, some GDS, and a little bit of salt. For the exact measurements to this recipe, be sure and check out gdseasoning.com. The link will be below in the description. So we have one 15 ounce can of black beans that have been completely rinsed and drained. And then I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I do highly suggest you use some sort of protein on this salad. And since I wanted to lean more toward the vegetarian side, I went with some black beans. You can use pinto beans. You can even use garbanzo beans if you wanted to. But these beans right here are so good, trust me. Here I'm using some chicken stock. You can also use vegetable stock if you wanted to um, stay with the strict vegetarian menu, all right? So I'm just gonna give that a mix. I'm gonna add my garlic, some chopped garlic. I almost forgot, and y'all know how much I love garlic. Give that a stir, and we're just gonna heat those up for about 15 or 20 minutes, not very long at all. So let's move on to the toppings for the salad and or tacos. Just look in your refrigerator and see what you have. I had some romaine lettuce and I mixed it with some fresh spinach. So that's mixed together there on your upper right. Right next to that I chopped some fresh cilantro. I had some mixed shredded cheeses, avocado, diced green onions, tomatoes, and some leftover onion from the black beans. There's the roasted cauliflower. It is so good. You could just eat the cauliflower like this, cooked or raw. I was eating it raw and I had it cooked, so either way is really good. Yeah, that's right, we were having some good rain over the weekend. Nice rainy weather, I had the windows open and cooking, getting this done. Might as well have a light lunch before I take a good nap. Don't judge me, just take a cue from me. <laughs> the black beans are all ready to go. I'm just gonna put the lid on them and hold them until I'm ready to make all of the tacos and the salad. After you roast the cauliflower at 450 degrees, leave the oven on because we're gonna do the taco shells on the same temperature. I'm just gonna take my corn tortillas and brush each side with some oil. You can use an oil of your choice. Brush each side, then put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds so they're nice and pliable. And then we're gonna put them in the oven and hang them over two of the runs in the oven, just like so. Now sometimes they will break. Mm-hmm, yeah, like that. You can either choose to let it cook that way or replace it. It's up to you, but I can't stand a broke taco shell. <laughs> also, I wanna let you guys know, put a pan up under these taco shells because sometimes they're gonna drip oil and that's gonna drip on the bottom of your oven and it's gonna smoke. It's gonna smoke anyway, even if it hits the pan, but you don't wanna dirty up your oven unnecessarily. The taco shells are all done. All you have to do is start adding your black beans and your cauliflower right in the bottom and then top it as you wish, easy. Now just a heads up on these taco shells, these oven fried taco shells, you will have to maybe pry some of them open. See how this one kind of baked, closed up? You can open it up just a little bit before it wants to break, but you guys can work with that, you'll be fine. And then just top it with your favorite toppings. These are a great alternative to deep frying your taco shells if you wanna to try to get away from it, or if you don't wanna do it as often, this is an alternative to that. And they are crispy. They really are just as crispy. So the taco salad is even easier. You're gonna take your romaine and your spinach uh, as a salad base and add all of your toppings, lettuce, tomato, cilantro. And then lastly, you're gonna go in with your black beans and your roasted cauliflower. And then you can top it, of course, with some sour cream or Greek yogurt. Um, I'm gonna add the avocado on there. Use your favorite chips and your meal is done. Light, satisfying, and easy to do. 
Thank you guys so much for cooking with me. You know I appreciate it when you come cook with me and hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.